Should we pull back because our cost culture is hostile? Should we pull back because we get a strong antipathetic response? That's a big word for a Sunday morning. I must be tired. A strong uh, anti-response. That'll do. Jesus doesn't. From this point onwards in the conflict ministry, Jesus is increasingly taking the battle to them. The battle for hearts as well as minds. So, by way of conclusion, what are our thoughts and our objectives when our faith is directly challenged in a hostile culture? Relevant for Mark's readers in Rome, relevant increasingly for us in the West now today. Jesus' priority is the Kingdom of God. And that does not mean that he appeases his aggressors. Quite the contrary, he gives good answers, true answers. And in the following encounters, it is he who takes the battle, as it were, to his enemies. But his priority is the kingdom of God. Not winning the argument, but winning people over to see, to recognize, to accept and to live within the right authority of the king in his kingdom. Jesus is not in the business of the kingdom of God to appease everyone to be sure that he stays well thought of. He stands up to both bullies and aggressors. And, and it is he who then puts them in the hot seat next. He is here to proclaim the kingdom of God, which means embracing challenge and calling for change. Embracing your challenge of me, calling for change from you, if we put it in those terms. He's not here to leave mankind in their sins by being nice to everybody, because that isn't nice to everybody. No matter how cherished or popular those sins might be, no matter how much a problem he faces in doing so, he's here to set people free from the things that control, they're going to mess up their destiny. Remember in the end, from their perspective, they would kill him to finally, they thought, shut him up. And several thousand years later, he still speaks. You don't get rid of him like that. What Jesus is doing though, in all of that, in all of that, resistance to the pressure of the world and the flesh and the devil in all of that Jesus's business is opening heaven and not closing people off the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost it's not come to condemn the world so that through him the world might have life And he looks for those he can encourage on the basis that they are not far from the kingdom of God. He's looking for the person of peace who may be coming at him with the hostile question to begin with, but whose heart is open to the kingdom of God. Now religion won't do that. Religion is going to insist on winning the argument. But the life of repentance that Jesus is calling for puts God first and seeks to serve his image in the shape that it takes now of fallen humanity. And repentance and faith in us on an ongoing basis take us and keep us going there. It's the great commandment then the Great Commission embodied and lived at the core of our missional community. And that's what the Church of God is to be. At the core of our missional community and its, our, responses to increasing hostility. Because restoring people like the man in this account is the business that we're being called to engage in.